The MTL Corporation will raise its fares by 2.3 percent this year, according to the new fare adjustment mechanism. The fare hike is expected to take effect in June. The latest fare adjustment mechanism has a new element that's linked to the MTL Corporation's property development profit. The mechanism takes into account the nominal wage index for the last quarter of 2022, which rose by 3.6% year-on-year. The formula also takes into account the 2% inflation in December last year, as well as the MTRC's property development profit, which resulted in a 0.8% reduction in calculating the new fares. It also needs to include the 0.5% rolled-over fare adjustment rate from last year and the 0.2% voluntary deferral in the formula. The overall fare adjustment rate for this year is plus 2.3%. This woman said the prices for all daily necessities are soaring and I can't do anything actually because I need to take the MTR. This man said, of course I'm unhappy. The MTR always raises its fares but never improves its services. Others, meanwhile, think the fare hike is normal as there is inflation. Still, the formula was criticized by lawmaker Michael Tian, a former chairman of the Kowloon Canton Railway. Because the new formula is the same as the old formula with an additional uh, uh, consideration related to the profit. But that relationship is so minuscule that it's irrelevant. It does not include the recurring income such as the uh, rental they receive from all the shopping malls, the station uh, shops and the advertising revenue. So there are two things that they claim they have added, but the degree and the impact is just absolutely minuscule. Lawmaker Ben Chan thinks the railway operator should introduce more discounts or concessions to offset the fare hike this time.